It's Friday, May 1st. Happy Labor Day. I'm your host, Ken Zhu, and welcome to Discover Guangzhou. Universities often pride themselves on the kind of VIPs they can invite for speeches. In fact, one of the reasons I envy Harvard grads so much is that Conan O'Brien, my favorite late-night TV personality, often give them graduation speeches. But not to be outdone, South China University of Technology recently had the Consul General of Norway as a guest. Take a look. The Foreign Language Festival of the South China University of Technology was recently unveiled. During the opening ceremony, Mr. Tormod Edersen, Norwegian Consul General in Guangzhou, delivered a speech to discuss the financial and climate crisis and Sino-Norwegian relations with young Chinese audience. Although the topic is serious, the process is quite enjoyable, especially when it came to the Q&A section. And uh, you know that due to the financial crisis, it's very difficult for the college students to find a job when after their uh, graduation. I always wonder, are the students in Norway no facing the same problem as we are? Uh, the other thing, of course, Norwegian students worry about their job prospects. Uh, for the time being, the employment, unemployment rate in Norway is less than 5%. So newly graduated, that's the most difficult place to be uh, in, 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 a, in a job market like this. So uh, certainly uh, what the government is doing is making sure that all people that lose their jobs or that can't find jobs have uh, social benefits that enables them to uh, continue to lead their lives or to take uh, further education to get more qualifications so that they can sort of get into the job market. I think um, some pictures inserted in the PPT is very funny and interesting. I think, uh, although it's a serious topic, but uh, Mr. Anderson tried to make it funny, tried to make it a delightful way to, uh, to shed his light of the, the world. Since the Norwegian consulate in Guangzhou was established in Guangzhou last July, cooperation between Norway and South China has been carried out in many fields. Norway is a country that is rich in natural resources and enjoys advanced technology in environmental protection and energy saving, which is also crucial to the sustainable development of the Guangdong province. Let me be very concrete and mention two things. We are in the process of identifying the scope of cooperation in wind power, offshore wind power uh, between Norway and China. And the next thing we will do is to look into the offshore oil and gas uh, market in the South China Sea. We also are working actively with the shipyards in Guangdong because uh, I believe that the combination of, sh of, of uh, the shipyard industry in China and Norwegian competence can be very fruitful. So these three things, uh, windmills and shipyards and, 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 and oil and gas is something that we've been working with. And also, of course, culture and education and, and, and you know, uh, ties between our countries. Bonnie Lee, Discover Guangzhou.